Dear parents and students, this video contains all the necessary instructions which are required to access our online school. We are using Google Classroom for live classes, assignments and exams. We are using Elite Parent Portal from My Class Board to share announcements, timetables and fee payments. Before we begin, these are the list of resources you will need in order to access our online school program. You will require number one, your unique My Class Board login ID and password and number two, your unique at eliteschool.com email ID and password. If you haven't received these details yet, please contact our school admin. There are two ways to access Elite School's My Class Board. When you are using desktop, you can access the online portal through our website and when you are using a phone, you can download it from Play Store or App Store with the name Elite Parent Portal. How to log it into Elite School My Class Board through a PC? So, firstly, you need to go to the school website that is www.elateschool.com and then you need to select Parent Login, which you can see is in the top right corner. Then you need to enter your username and your password in order to log in. How to log in into Elite School My Class Board using app? Go to Play Store or App Store. Search for the app Elite Parent Portal and download it. Enter your username and password to log in and access your account. All the parents are instructed to download the Elite Parent Portal app in their phones without fail because the school sends important announcements through the app and parents receives notifications when announcements have been shared. You can use Elite School My Class Board to check timetable, classroom codes, fee payment details and important announcements. For the online school 2021 to 22, we are using Google Classroom to take online classes, assignments and exams. To proceed with Google Classroom, you must know classroom codes and timetable. How to access classroom code and timetable? The timetable and classroom codes are shared on L8 My Class Board through announcements. We will share these files on WhatsApp. We suggest that you print out a copy of timetable and stick it at your desk to keep it easy to use. Dear parents and students, it is important that you use your unique at elateschool.com email ID and password to access the features of Google Classroom. Please note that you cannot access our online school with your personal email IDs. How to log in into Gmail? So, firstly, you need to go to Gmail and then you need to enter your unique at l8school.com email ID.
and then you need to enter your password. When you log in for the first time, you need to change your password. And you need to create a strong one. Do note down the new password that you create so that you do not forget it. How to open a Google Classroom? When you log in into your L8 School Gmail account, please select the six dots which will be visible on the top right corner. Then in the Google Apps option, select Classroom and you will be able to see a new tab opening for Google Classroom. How to join a class? Students should join a separate classroom for each subject. For example, if a student has seven subjects, he or she should join into seven different classes. And this applies for extracurricular activities as well. To join a classroom, select the plus sign on the top right corner. Enter the classroom code that you have downloaded from L8 School My Class Boat portal and select join, which you'll see on the top right corner. You are now added to the class. Please repeat the same procedure for all the subjects. Please note that you have to join a class only once at the beginning of the online school. When you open Google Classroom, you will find all the classes that you have joined. How to join a live class? To join a live class, check the timetable to know which class to attend. Go to Google Classroom. Select the specific class. Then you will see a Google Meet link. Click on this link. in order to join the online class. How to submit homework or assignment? To submit your homework or assignment, go to the specific class and select classwork. Select the assignment and click on view assignment. Then, at the right side, you will see Add or Create. Click on it and add the files that you want to submit. You can add as many files as per your requirement. Once the files are selected, Click on Turn In to submit your homework or assignment. How to check teacher's feedback given in a particular assignment? Go to this specific class, select Classwork, then select the assignment you want to check and click on View Assignment. You will be able to view the marks given by the teacher. 
To check the feedback, select the specific file attachments from your work option which is available on the top right corner. When the pop-up of the file opens, select Open in Google Docs which is present on the top. The assignment file will open in a new Google Docs window. And you will be able to check the teacher's feedback, corrections and suggestions on the right side of the page. Dear parents, through Google Classroom's mail summaries, you can check your child's progress, missed works and upcoming projects. You will receive a specific report for each subject of the child. All the parents are instructed to view these reports to be updated with their child's performance. To access these reports, you must send your personal email ID to admin on WhatsApp. How to accept guardian request from a teacher. Check the mail that you have received from the class teacher of your child. Select Accept. Select Accept again to the pop-up. A new pop-up will appear. Here, you can select the frequency of these report summaries. You can either opt for daily reports or weekly reports as needed. Dear parents and students, we have now come to an end of our orientation program. But I would like to end this with a thoughtful quote. Welcome every challenge with pride. Look for positive opportunities in every situation to learn and grow in wisdom. So, looking forward for a wonderful academic year ahead. Good luck. Thank you.